With phase 4 of the Overdrive initiative, we get two separate mission parts. And with that, phase 4 is one of the most interesting so far. In this guide, of course, we show you all the parts you need for phase 4. Because here we have two different parts, the Xeno Threat Surveillance and the Emergency at Korea part. And here you get the Emergency at Korea mission, which is a massive FPS battle on the Korea station, directly in connection with the Xeno Threat Surveillance missions, where we have to reactivate three comma rays. And since we are not only in space but also engage in massive FPS battles, we need space equipment with a combat ready ship and of course FPS equipment, where enough ammunition and especially medical equipment is the key. And especially for the Korea mission, we definitely need a group. The Xenothreat Surveillance mission chain starts, where we need three completed missions here. And in contrast to Phase 3, these missions are again completely shareable. So, also with teammates, you have not yet completed other phases or are already through. So, you can go into battle together. And for the first part, especially for at least one player of your group, a spacesuit is a necessary requirement, because we have to go into the weightlessness of space at the comma race. And after we can fly straight to the Korea mission afterwards, it is already advisable to bring in FPS equipment from the beginning, especially since all missions in Phase 4 take place in non-monitored areas. Therefore, at this point a clear warning. PvP-oriented players can use Phase 4 of the Xenothread initiative to force PvP on other players, since the mission areas are not monitored at all, and thus the killing of other players is not a crime. In the mission areas, so the deactivated comma ray stations, we find different Xeno threats, but in a smaller number and with smaller ships. And here, also with starter ships, you bring enough firepower with you. But beware, the station area has been avoided by the Xeno threats, with laser booby traps, with small explosive traps that will trigger when you are too close to it. But don't worry. The range of the laser traps is significantly limited and you can switch them off with any weapon. And as we see at the end, it is also possible with enough movement and high speed to glide directly through different laser traps without taking damage. But basically, you can take damage the closer you are to a laser trap, up to your death, so be careful when you get too close. For the first part of the Phase 4 comma ray missions, it is enough if one single player simply presses the reconnect button. You don't have to do more here and there is also no break in the transmission, where you have to go to confirm again. Therefore, it is also not necessary that one player waits directly at the terminal. But different spaceships of the Xenothread spawn in the sequence, which we have to switch off of course, until the mission is completed. Because for a mission completion, three special opponents spawn here again at the end of the mission. These three Vanguard opponents are marked again and are important for the mission, because the mission area is not completed without the shot of these three opponents. And after about 5 minutes, as soon as our comma ray has gone online again, these opponents will spawn. And at this point, you can get a Grimestead again. These only have to be shot down and the mission is completed for the first part of three. Because in total, we need three successful missions here at the comma race. And also for this phase, as soon as you have successfully completed these three missions, you will no longer receive them independently in your contact manager. But other players who have this mission can still share it with you, so you can always support other players to complete the mission. And after the completion of a comma ray mission, you will also receive a timer, because you are in a monitored and locked area, and you would, would receive a crime stat here after 15 minutes. So, leave. And on the subject of laser booby traps, here is the self-trial. So, no problem after all. Much more interesting for the fourth phase is the second part, namely Emergency at Korea. Here, we have a fixed mission target for all players on the server, namely the security station on Korea, which is located in Selen in the Crusader area. So, all players travel to this location for the mission. 
And since this Korea station is also the only possibility to remove an active crime stat, a smaller PvP hotspot will probably be offered here for the event. But all players who want to complete the overdrive event are obliged to complete this mission here. So there should always be enough players to defend the PvP faction. In the first step of the Korea mission, we have to enter the station and defend against a hacking attempt of the Xeno threat. And even if a close combat is basically possible, I strongly recommend you to bring enough ammunition and weapons in. And it is also recommended to cover yourself on site with the drop weapons and equipment, because you have a rain respawn here and really hit masses of well-equipped Xeno threats. And you will never run out of ammunition. For the first mission step in the Emergency at Korea mission, we have to defend against a hacking attempt on the large console in the middle area of the station. But you have to deal with a large number of Xeno threats, which you should first turn off. After that, you can also stop the hacking attempt of the Xeno threat on the small hacking device, which is attached to the main screen on the right side. This completes the first part of the mission. Now you can either use a hacking keycard you brought with you or the mission hacking chip you find in the next room. And with this, we can then access the database. All through, the hacking process takes much longer than with a hack of a crime stat. So plan for the next mission step about 15 to 20 minutes. All through, there is also a long run up to the newly spawned Xeno threat. And in addition, there should always be a player near the console and press continue here when the hacking process stops. And another useful tip. After a large number of other players are also on the move in this area, it may be good that another player not in your group presses the abort button. Then you have to repeat the whole thing again and the time you spend in Korea with the rain respawn increases significantly. And since the Comstead monitoring is also deactivating in this area, you can also cause damage to other players here without crime stats or consequences. Or to you. So therefore, it is not only recommended to bring medical equipment, but also some friends. The mission is completed if we have access to the system and can delete the existing records. And with that, you have also completed the complete Phase 4 with Part 1 and Part 2 on Korea. So, see you in the next phase. See you soon and thanks for watching.